Welcome to the Lightspeed Restaurant Getting Started Video Guide for K-Series. I'm Vinny, and in this video, we're going to review how to configure Lightspeed payments. Once you've been approved, you'll now have access to more payment settings that can be configured in Lightspeed Restaurant. Depending on your region, you'll have various options available to you. You can check our online help articles for full details. You'll find a link in the description below. There are several places in the back office where you can select your options, so let's go through them one by one. We'll start by going to the sidebar under Configuration, Settings, and then Payment Methods. Under the list of payment methods, you'll find the entry for Lightspeed Payments. To access these settings, you can click Lightspeed Payments or Edit at the end of the row. On this page, you can set the timing of when payment authorizations are captured. Choosing Standard means card payments are authorized and captured immediately. Your other option is pre-authorized or batch, where card payments are authorized instantly but will be captured the next day. This option is only valid in specific regions. Further down, you can enable tipping or deduct a percentage from tips to cover transaction fees, as well as even more settings for the cash drawer, float, refunds on transaction errors, payment QR codes, enabling bar tabs, and receipts printed by your payment terminals. Depending on your region, you can also use this page to set up surcharging. The next area we'll go to is Configuration, Configurations. A configuration in this case is a group of predetermined settings assigned to your POS device. Here you can edit one of your configurations by clicking on the name. Once you're in Settings for the configuration, click on Payments. On this page you can configure payment methods, payment options, and tipping on your POS. Here you can decide if you want to print the final check after completing a payment and if you want to capture signatures on your payment terminals, among other options. Under the tipping section, you can enable or disable tipping on your terminal. Tipping can be prompted at the same time as payment or afterwards. Check whichever option suits you better. Finally, if you are using a payment terminal, you'll need to go to Financial Services in the sidebar. If you've been registered for Lightspeed Payments, you'll see a list of options up at the top. If you haven't been set up with Lightspeed Payments, Visit the link in the description below for the Help Center article on setting up Lightspeed Payments. Click Terminals. If you have any payment terminals configured for Lightspeed Payments, you'll find them listed here. Clicking Settings will bring you to the default configuration page, allowing you to apply universal settings to all of your terminals. You can set the terminal language, configure the default tipping options, choose whether to enable Pay at Table, allowing you to do wireless payments at the table, and set up standalone mode on the terminal. With standalone mode, you can choose to process payments on your terminal without initiating a sale on the Lightspeed POS. This option allows for more flexibility in the daily operation of your business, as well as a fallback in case of an internet outage. If you want to configure a single terminal with its own settings, such as a tableside payment terminal, click the name of the terminal. This opens a setting page for that specific terminal, which can be set up differently from the rest by toggling custom settings to on. The final step is to set up the terminal itself. There's a link to the terminal setup video playlist in the description below that will guide you through that process. And that's your getting started guide to configuring Lightspeed payments. For more information, you can continue with our getting started video series or visit the articles in our help center. If you have any questions, check out any of the links in the description below.